Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, today is a quick video day. Um, I've been getting this question quite a bit in regards to the Terminator X on my Fox body. And I figured this is a video that actually would be better to show in video form versus trying to explain because this one's kind of hard to explain. So we're looking at the three and a half inch touchscreen that's included with the Terminator X kits. And, um, you know, when you got one of these, I call it a glorified gauge. And because you can do some tuning on this, I, I'm not a fan of it. Um, the kind of parameters you need to be able to change uh, to get really fine tuning done, uh, this really can't do. But um, it does do some things here and there that uh, will help out a little bit. But um, I think what uh, the main focus should be is just doing laptop tuning or taking it to a professional tuner at a dyno or something like that and have it tuned or do some remote tuning with a... Um, someone that's experienced with the system but anyway i call this a glorified gauge and the reason i call it that is because you actually can see whatever the computer can see so we're gonna go ahead and just flip the key on real quick i'm gonna let it prime and there you go okay so uh, as you can see here this setup here will give you pretty much all your data. Now, you guys will probably notice something about this. Um, this isn't what you normally see in regards to what you would get with looking at the vitals on the system. You can see here I got a boost gauge. And let's see if I can get to focus in a little bit. Okay. All right, guys, so you can see here I got a boost gauge, coolant temp, IAC percentage, ignition timing, AFR, throttle position, of course a tachometer, both a digital version and an analog version, and of course manifold air temp, battery voltage, and uh, map and KPA. So I get people asking me all the time, hey, how do you set this up to read, like say I want a boost gauge, or hey, I don't need like the learn status, I don't need uh, what the closed loop compensation is. Uh, I want to be able to see something simple, or I want to see boost, I want to see coolant temp, and that's all I want to see kind of deal. Well, I want to go ahead and show you guys how we do that here. So on your three and a half inch touch screen. So right now, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and go back to the dash setup. So right now, this is normally what you would get. Sorry for the glare, Let's see if I can get this for you guys. Okay, so you can see here, the system comes with these layouts already. You got your sensors, and this is normally probably what you would see, okay? So this is a pretty decent one. Uh, of course, you don't need some of this stuff, and of course, uh, a lot of this stuff here, you're not gonna be able to read. Like, if you want a boost gauge, unless you are really good with math in your head, um, you're not gonna be able to use that. Uh, as a qualifier for boost, but of course, like vitals is a good one. This is one I started out with. They, this gives you pretty much everything that you would want um, for the most part. This is what people normally go to. Um, and of course, like it's got these fans, AC shut off, like stuff that you're not going to use. Um, but if you're getting started for the first time, you want to know that it's learning, closed loop status, and of course, it's got your other stuff, your AFR and uh, coolant temp and so on and so forth <clears throat> but say you want to make your own of course air fuel ratio that's another one um that's all about fueling and stuff like that again stuff that you can use that's pre-set up from the factory but say you want to make your own and then there's the one i made how do you set up your own gauge layout so if you go to dash setup here it gives you three options dash one two and three so I'm going to go ahead and cancel. Guys, you saw me hit dash one. That is my custom layout. So if you're getting started for the first time, you want to set up your own gauge cluster here on your three and a half inch touch screen. We're going to use dash two as an example since I already have my dash one set up and you hit okay. So it's going to get ask you these layouts and the channels and gauges. So if you go to change layout, right now the current layout is the current layout six, which is kind of what you've been seeing. A big, um, you can see it here by the picture. It's got a big opening spot right here. That's usually where my tachometer is. And it's got a bunch of boxes for analog. So right here, you can see it flashes for you and you can select either one of these because right now it kind of gives you a basis, but you can change every single one of these by just clicking on it. So. And guys, there's a ton of options in here. 
And you may think that if you look at this arrow, just scroll all the way down to the bottom, 194 options. That is a ton of options. But right there, number 99, I got lucky I stopped on that one. That is boost. That's probably like the 90% of what I get questioned is where can I put a boost gauge on this thing? The channel is number 99. That's for boost. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And then, of course, it gives you how you want your gauge to look. Do you want digital small? Do you want a round medium? Round 90 degree? You got all kinds of options here, too. So we're just going to do a digital small. Hit OK. And there you go. So again, you can change all these up. And once you hit OK and you get everything set up you want and you save it, you know, once you hit OK, you then have your custom layout. And of course, you can change the layout. You can change any of these up and do whatever you want with them. Pretty cool. So that's how you change your layout to be able to read what you want it to read. Again, dash one here. This is my custom layout. This is what I like, this is what I like to see. Um, again, I don't need the map KPA one, I may change that. And again, the nice thing is, is that you're not locked in once you do it once. You can go back in and change everything. So that's really cool. All right, and one last thing I wanna show people is um, how to change kind of like your warning lights or your colors and when stuff gets triggered to turn on. So we're back at the home screen here and that's actually really easy to do. And you know, you may see that when you're looking at your gauges here, and actually I'll go ahead and show that to you real quick. I'll go ahead and go back to my, um, my custom layout real quick. You can see that these colors are kind of like warning lights, right? You got your cooler, coolant temp set at yellow because it's really low. And of course your manifold air temp is at yellow. It's really low. You can change when these lights come on and kind of how it's scaled to come on. It's kind of like a warning. So that way, the way it's set up from the factory uh, is okay, but you'll see sometimes that these things will go on and off uh, really quick because their parameters are pretty shallow, I guess you can say, or come on too soon. Or you don't want them to come on too soon, and you don't want them to come on too late. You want them to, to come on based on your your setup. So we're gonna go ahead and go back, and so let's just start from the beginning here, so you can sh I can show you guys how to do this. So under monitor from the home screen, you got this button right here called channel scaling. And of course you got all the options here of how you want it to look. So say you wanted to kind of give yourself a makeshift shift light, I guess you can say. Uh, let's go ahead and go there and hit okay. You'll see here the max display, display minimum, caution, caution max, normal, normal minimum, normal max. So you can see here my caution is 6250. That's the factory um, rev limiter got your normal max so normal is like it's the range is good up and you can see here the scaling got a bunch of green a little bit of yellow and then red so caution max that's the red so if you were to go in here and change this caution max rpm is just like the other scaling options you get on the terminator x handheld you can change this say you want to read 6500 or 100 rpm whatever you want to do once you change it to the max and hit save it's now saved as your caution max, and that's what's gonna come on red. Um, for example, you want to come on uh, when you're getting close to your rev limiter at, uh, in yellow, you got your normal max. So therefore you can change uh, where the yellow comes on at 6,000 RPM. So as soon as that light comes on, you know it's getting close and you see red, it's okay, you're at your rev limiter kind of deal. Uh, common one, one that I suggest that you change, it's probably like your coolant temp because everyone's uh, setup is a little bit different here. So you can just go through the options and just go and find it. Again, you have a ton of options here. And it's all based on the same um, options that you have at the very beginning uh, when you're setting up your layout. Again, there's 194 options. So you just got to go through each individual one. And there you go. You got map, throttle position, manifold air temp, coolant temp. So coolant temp is one that I made I changed because I was tired of it coming on so early. And again, you can set it up based on your setup. Um, again, the display max is just what the max gauge will read. And then of course the caution and everything, normal minimum, and you guys can see here how the scale comes on pretty quick. 
Um, red is 220. That means you're pretty much at the overheating mark. That's the boiling point of water. Max, uh, normal max. I have it yellow come on at 210. Um, again, I can change all this, and you can too, to change it to come on at a different temperature. Say I wanted it to come on at uh, 190, you can change it in here. Again, you can go in and change it. And then once you hit save and everything, it's then going to read based on your setup. So all your scaling will be reached, uh, will be able to be changed based on how you want the lights to come on and everything. Uh, a lot of the stuff in normal ranges will just stay in, in the, with the black background with the white letters, or I'm sorry, white numbers. And of course the lights will come on based on whatever you set up. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys how you can change your scaling for lights to come on and also how to be able to, you know, set up your gauges the way you want on your touchscreen. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it helps you out. Thanks for watching.